Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm not in my usual recording studio. This is because I traveled and I'm on a short holiday somewhere. But as I was trying to set up a website, I bumped into an issue and I thought you guys would be facing the same. This is because if you moved your website to the Elementor Cloud or if you're using the Elementor Cloud, you're not able to use the Reset and Restore plugin to reset or roll back your website to the initial version of that website by using the reset plugins like we have been doing before. So for example, I have this website and it's having Elementor installed and it's on a self-hosted platform. Earlier, what we had to do, for example, if I want to reset this to a default WordPress install, I simply just had to go back to the plugins area and then install and activate the WP reset plugin. So I activate for now since I have it installed then what I'm going to do is to open up the reset tools. Then I come under the site reset option. Then I retype reset and then I reset the website. Good. Now when I come back here to my website and I reload, you realize that now I'm having the default WordPress installation. We couldn't have any media because now we are simply having a default install of WordPress just like when you install WordPress on the website. However, now when we go into our Elementor Cloud website, this website is on the Elementor Cloud. And when I come to websites and I come to open in WP dashboard, it brings me straight to this dashboard over right here. So now the issue is that we can no longer use the reset plugins inside a website that is being hosted on the Elementor Cloud. Now, this is the solution and how to go about it. But before I go to the solution, let me first add a reset plugin. So I'll add plugins. Oh, I go to plugins and I say reset. Oh, it's called WP reset. You see, I'm not able to install this plugin that we have earlier been using in WordPress to reset our WordPress websites to a default install of WordPress. So inside your Elementor cloud, I'll close this over. You are going to come right over here to manage this website inside the Elementor cloud. And you're going to simply come down here to the backups and go straight down to the very first backup. So what I'm going to do is reset and say, I understand website will not be available until reset is complete. And also check this and check also the very last one and then just say restore. Now it's restoring the site. Great, looks like our site restoration process is complete. Now let me go and check out the website. So this is the website before. Now let's look at the website after. So add a new tab and reload the website. And boom, there we are. We are having a blank page or a fresh install of WordPress with Elementor. And if now I come over here to this website and open it up in the WP dashboard, Let's look at the plugins area. Obviously, we have our Elementor plugin and our Elementor Pro plugin. So since we restored an earlier version of our website or the first backup of our website before we started creating anything on this website, then we'll be having to actually make an update or an update of the plugins on this website and there we are good to go. Anyway, that's it all for now. I wanted to give you a heads up in case you are falling into issues or trying to figure out how you can actually reset to an earlier version of your website in the Elementor Cloud. This is the video for you. So if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment right down in the box below in case you have any suggestions or comments. Have a good time and goodbye.